So I'm be playing with these Jane Davenport uh, layer cake paints on the jelly plate today, and I'm be using a bunch of stencils um, from uh, PM Artist Studios. All these stencils that I use today are from PM Artist Studios. I'll put a link for them uh, below. Um, here's just a bunch that we use, so check them out. You may or may not know about these paints. They're kind of a cross between a watercolor and a gouache. Um, and they're very um, creamy. They don't need a lot of water. So I wondered how would that work on the jelly plate? So I was playing around and I came up with um, this background. I just used my fingers to put on some blue, green and yellow. And then I pulled it up with, uh, I think I pulled it up with this pastel green. And, and then I used um, stencils over top. Um, here, this background of the red and the blue and the purple, I did with the pan pastels and that, not pan pastels, the rainbow cake, and then I pulled it up with the gold, and then I used some stencils and outlined them. And here is sort of a secondary print from that. This one doesn't really have any of the layered cake uh, paints on it. It just sort of is like a pickup print after. So I'm going to try to recreate... Um, what I did and um, I'm going to just sort of fast forward, put some music on and I'm going to work on making some Christmas cards. So um, I hope you enjoy this.
bunch of prints that we used to make cards. I'll cut them out. This one I wasn't crazy about. I like that one though. This one, I think the paint should have been uh, darker and I missed outlining this one. But that would be a background. I would put something in front of it. That's pretty subtle. It's kind of cool though. This is very retro to me. That would be a fun background or just with a sentiment on it, like cut those down, put just a word. Uh, this was the original set that I had done uh, with the camera off. I thought that one turned out really well. And that's with the uh, layered cake paints underneath and then outlined with gold. That's with the layered cakes uh, paints underneath. I like that one. The background's lighter, so it is more contrast. Uh, that was the original toll I did for that one. So you can see the difference here. Um, because this background was darker, I should have gone with a black paint, um, not the same blue and um, Payne's Gray. It's very subtle though. So um, I don't know that, you know, you couldn't get these uh, effects using other paints, even like acrylic paints. Uh, I just thought it'd be fun to play with something different on the jelly plate. So instead of doing a photo montage, I thought I would just show you up close some of the holiday cards I've made already. And so I can show you if there's any shimmer. Just shows better than a photograph. So again, I, you know, you could get the same effect using, um, acrylic paints on the jelly plate, or even just making a painty paper without a jelly plate. But I just wanted to play with the, um, the Jane Davenport layer cake paints and see if they were workable on the jelly plate. And they are, but they're not, you know, you can get the same effect doing other things. And all these cards are just very simple. I just want to, um, you know, some have words, most don't. And um, I want them all sort of a mailable size. I tried to keep them fairly flat, except this one does have a, a bit of dimension. And, you know, just added some doodles around or some hand lettering or um, just whatever, just uh, keeping it simple. I actually, I could see making a little corner doodaddy here. That might look cool. Um, so these ones are the ones that I did previously, like the jelly prints. These ones are using jelly prints I made during this video, but these are done using the, um, the initial set I had done when I was playing. And yeah, so they're all quite simple and um, just some holiday cards to send out and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, having a wonderful December. Thanks for watching. Bye.